Hey everybody, up here at the post office in uh, Tampa, Florida. Out here without any America, chasing the island report. Go like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> First minute on it. See if they respect our rights. Old ass camera. Poster seven is right here on the wall. This is the rules and the regulations from the post office. Poster seven. What's the best thing? Photographs for news purposes may be taken. Say no more. Entrances, lobbies. Absolutely have the right to take your picture. You you don't. Yes, um, I do. I know what I can Yes, I do. Do you work at the post office, ma'am? No, I don't. Okay, so please mind your own okay. business and leave me alone. Okay. Thank you. Call nine one one. Call nine one one. You're calling nine one one and wasting tax dollars. Oh, she does work here. She does work here. That's funny because she's calling nine one one over. Uh, and, um, could I also get, um, Lawfully protected activity? Hubbard fans come in packets of. Um, I think she's, she's recording us. It's disappointing. Okay. We got a cam back. I got an opinion. It's disappointing. Hold your you don't want to be on film? Don't walk up to somebody with picture. a camera. That's right. They're going to get educated on their own rules. They're going to get educated on the First Amendment. They're going to get educated about Poster 7, which is right there on their wall, which is which, which uh, it shows the United States Post Office rules and regulations, which clearly state that for news and advertisement purposes, we are allowed to be recorded in a publicly accessible area. She just came back in. We have a lady over here that decided to stop working and just exercise her right while at work. There you go. That's the proper way. They're going to be educated, and this will never happen again. This will never happen again. They're going to do the walk of shame, okay? They're going to do the walk of shame. Shout outs to CPR Audits. Go to his channel, CPR Audits. Also go to Auditing America with nearly 90 million combined views. We're about to put these people on the internet for their terrible service. We're going to call the police on the citizens for exercising their rights. Must, it must be nice. So we're gonna peacefully stand by. We're not gonna- She said something about you know, having a job or something. Well, this is a job. And you guys are federal employees. You guys get a, a, a check from the federal government. And guess who funds the federal government? <laughs> is, is that your personal phone, ma'am, you're using at work? Because we can also request Because we can request that as public information. <laughs> So I have it on camera. You're using your personal phone at work, which is now public information. I hope that she comes. All the other employees are doing great. They're minding their business. Even the customers are minding their business.
three, three, six, two, nine. Uh, two sheets. Yeah, yeah like I would, well, I would try and insert it and when it turned to see it and everything, it's camped and then someone ended up, I'm not sure if you know, you probably know how this so it's like, I'm never going to get a chance to access. I don't know. Plus, she shouldn't be doing it at work. I was there for him when she has other duties. Someone else got it somewhere in the same lock and um, ended up very good. I noticed that and I opened it up and I had mail in there. And it she also lied. Like I had a pack of stuff. Yeah, listen, I had a way because I had to bring them all back. Remember? She doesn't work here. She has keys. Now, she has keys. She has keys. She has keys. She has keys. I looked in there and there's nothing in there, but I think someone had to have paid you. Everybody's minding their business. Oh, never mind. I thought they were. Uh oh. We would love a copy of that, ma'am. I don't like it. Then you shouldn't work for the public, man. This is a package that was meant for me. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're doing heavy stuff. It's just like, isn't that what we get to the mail carrier? The mail carrier can open the back of it. Okay. It's not, I already, it, I opened it though, there's nothing in it now, I'm just saying, if you guys, so maybe you got put in the wrong lock, do you think? Nah, no, nah, no. someone else had the same key, and it went in the, in the lock, and they opened it, and they must have taken whatever was in it, or I want to see if it's here. Okay. That's what I'm asking. I, I could take a look and see if it's here. Okay. Can I buy a stamp? That's possible? Maybe. Yep. Go ahead. I'm trying to buy a stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know. I'm just curious. It's not bothering anybody else. Except for the manager or something. And that one other girl. That's so funny. We're trying to see we're trying to see how courteous and professional the United States Post Office employees are. And we're documenting it. And if they do a really good job then we commend them and we encourage all of our viewers, thousands and thousands, millions. But you don't bring a camera here. Yes, you, you do. Yes, yes, you do. It's actually on the wall right there, sir. If you look up the rules. Poster seven. You don't care, then, then don't, care. don't care, then quit your job. How much you want to bet, bro? How much you want to bet? What, 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 how much you want to bet? I'm not your brother. You're my employee. I'm not your brother. You're my employee. Yeah, thanks, work, salary. work. For me, you work for me. Yep. Yeah. Who pays your salary, idiot? The federal. Did you the federal government. Yes, I did. You need to go. No, I don't. I tell you what. No, He's dumb or not smart. No, I'm, no, I'm, you're, an, you're, an <laughs> you're an idiot. You're an idiot. His name is Rory. Rory is an idiot. He wants to be rude. It's my daughter's nickname. <laughs> Pretty soon, there ain't gonna be any workers up here taking anybody, <laughs> helping anybody. Good. Good. How much you want to bet? How much? How much? I bet. I bet you a hundred dollars. I bet you a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Employee. Employee. We don't work for taxpayer money. Employee. Yeah, but will you guys mind your business? Mind your business. Mind your business. For what? Mind your business. This is not your business. It is my business. What are you? What are you harassing people for? We're not harassing anybody. You're harassing. None of your business. I'm yes. What is wrong with it's you? None of your business. Mind your business. Real job. Mind your business. This is a real job. It probably pays more than your job. Leave him alone. Leave us alone. Won't you look up how the post office is funded? It's funded by this. Not your tax so why, they, why, they, why are they you begging for a bailout for the government? Why, you wouldn't be here harassing why are they you have a job. Why are they begging for a bailout? The, the United States Post Office is a tragedy. The, the president said it. The president said it. It's a joke. This is a federal building. The Constitution is enforced here, okay? Have you ever read the Constitution? Yes, I have. Actually. Yeah, we got a copy of it in the car. Yes, I have. Go to Auditing America, share, like, yeah. and subscribe with nearly 90 million combined views. Say hi, Mom. 
Oh, you got 90 million combined views? That's right. Say hi, Mom. Your mother, your mother's smart enough probably not to watch this. Say hi, Mom. Actually, I take care of my mom and my entire family with these type of videos. Thank you very I much. Bet you do. Thank you very much. And I pay a lot of taxes for this. So thank you very much. Doubt it. Uh, you doubt it? Mm -hmm. then, why don't, then why don't we compare bank statements right now, buddy? Shit talker. What is your problem? No, what is your problem? What, why do you doubt that I Why do you come here harassing No, Why do you come here harassing somebody? No, 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 I'm talking to you right no. now. I'm not harassing anyone. All the you other customers, we didn't. an idiot. Because he's disrespecting me. He's disrespecting me. He has no authority to tell me what to do. He has something. the authority to do no, his no, job no, no. and you leave him alone. No, 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 no. Leave us that, alone. He's telling me that I can't film here when the rules are right there on the wall. We just read the rules. The, you don't listen. even know how the post office works. Yes, I do. Yes. yes, I do. I've been all over the country doing these type of videos, trying to find out if you guys know your shit, and you don't. And you don't. That's why I'm so successful. Thank you very much. 90 million You're not successful, you moron. Yes, you pay for your tattoos, you yeah. moron. Yeah, all tattoos. You're a racist <laughs> prick. That's what you are. He has right? tattoos. He must be a bad you? person. You're a racist, you? moron. You're a racist. What prick. race are you? You're what race racist. are you? You look white to me. You look yeah. like an idiot. Are you white? Yes. Okay, so am I racist? Because I'm saying you're a moron and you're I'm, a moron. He's not, not white. You were talking to him, correct? You're talking about my tattoos and stuff. Tattoos are racist. Oh wow! I didn't know that tattoos are racist. Well, then why'd you bring them up? Because he's white. Why'd you bring them up? Why'd you bring them up? You don't have no tattoos. Act. Uh, I, no, I, I can't see. afford tattoos because you make all the money. You got all the tattoos. That's right. That's right. Did you know? Did your mom ever teach you not to talk to strangers? I'm not gonna get you on camera. Anymore? Sorry. Idiot. Yeah, we'll see your words. You see, that's, the, that's the First Amendment. I encourage you to do that. I'm doing it. I encourage you to do that. This guy's gonna do the walk of shame when he finds out that we absolutely have the right to be here and that he works for us. All right. Let's see. Let's see. See, let's see how that works out. It's the only customer that said stuff to us. All the other customers were nice. This, you must be a Biden guy. You must be a bootlicker. Actually, yeah. I work for Republican politics, don't work for President Trump. Good. And I guarantee he would Good. support this. Yes, he he's does. Not a moron like yes, he does, because he, he, he didn't shut down the Constitution like you're trying, like a Nazi. That's you. All right? Why don't you why don't you tell the real truth and tell everybody that you su you support creepy Uncle Joe? It didn't work. Which we've also confronted face to face, just like we're doing to you, buddy. We made international news confronting Joe Biden. You don't know who you're speaking with. All right. Share, like, and subscribe. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense because I should take a picture of it. Oh, now he's thinking about it. He's like, oh man, I messed up. These guys are on my team. There's Republicans. Fourteen different um, boxes. Lines of 13, By the way, Trump did a lot of shit that got me mad too. Anyway, I can't wait for the police to get here. All those fourteen boxes. We're not lying. Oh. You can go ahead. Hold on. Oh. I'm gonna go get the outside right now. You know what, you're right. Let's do the video. Yeah, you're right. Yo, yo. Let's go outside. Document everything? I was just going to document the parking lot first and then come back. We're gonna be we're gonna be assholes. I'm gonna get this guy's plate. <laughs> like that's how petty I'm gonna be.